about the wild animals of the world. This zoo is so big. There are 740 acres and over 2,000 wild animals. To see the whole thing, we're gonna have to ride on a bike. Look at that. Have you ever been on a bike? Let's try it. Here. Oh boy. Look at the elephants. Did you know they're the biggest land animal in the whole world? Wow, look how big they are. I think they like being in the mud. They're all red. Wow, look at those gorillas. Gorillas are the largest members of the ape family. And you can tell they're apes because apes don't have tails, but monkeys do. Look at that, it looks like a mommy. Oh, that must be the daddy, don't you think? That's the daddy. And well, who do you think that is? That's the, that's the brother, that's the, that's the son, that's the son. Yeah, I think so. Look at the monkey. <gasps> See them. Monkeys have tails. Look, those monkeys have tails. Welcome over here to the Casaringo Rhino Encounter. Now, you see our big rhino here? Do you think he needs to be clean? Of course he does. Animals just like people have to be clean all the time. You know how we help keep them clean? Come on, everybody step up here. Everybody step up. Take the brush and up and down on his skin. Up and down, you can go hard on his skin. You know why? He's got very thick skin. Look, how do we stay clean? This rhino likes to be clean. How do you stay clean? I take a bath. You take a bath. What do you do? I wash my hands. You wash your hands to stay clean. And what do you do? Brush my teeth. You brush your teeth. And the rhino likes to be clean too. Look, we're using brushes to help clean him. And you know what else he'll do? He goes into his big bathtub over there. That's his bathtub. He loves to soak in there and get his skin all nice and moist and wet because it cleans off all the dirt that he gets on it all day because sometimes during the day, he loves to roll around in the dirt because it helps protect it from the sun and it helps protect it from biting insects. So this is the way he cleans the dirt off. Then we come in there, we could rub him down and rub him a little bit and help clean the skin that way. Look, there's the giraffes. Stop and get out. There you go. Here we go. Okay, here we are at the giraffe feeding station. And we're here. This is the big guy. This is Fezzik. He's the big male. Okay? This is one of the younger ones here. And back here, this is key to the female. And you know what? They eat a lot, but they eat very healthy foods. One of the favorite foods, carrots. You know you always hear you should always eat your vegetables? Giraffe oh. are the kings of eating vegetables. Look at that. She's beautiful. Look at, oh, look at his tongue. He ate that carrot. What kind of healthy foods do you like to eat? Mangoes. Mangoes. That's a healthy food. What healthy foods do you like to eat? Apples. Apples. And how about you? Cherries. Cherries. And what does he like? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, watch. Oh! See that tongue? Gets to be wow. 14 inches long. Look at that. Whoa. Oh, he likes healthy foods. Here, baby. She likes healthy foods, too. OK, we're in front of the zebra exhibit. This is the Grevy zebra. You know the neat thing about zebras? They're stripes. But their stripes are different on each zebra. And on the same zebra, the stripes on one side are different than the stripes on another side, which means they are not symmetrical. In other words, to be symmetrical, it has to be the exact same on one side as it is on the other side. But it's not that way with the zebras. So they're asymmetrical, OK? Lines on zebras are like fingerprints on a human being, different on every animal. Now we're going on a camel ride. Let's go. Go ahead, Zach. You can go up the stairs first. Come right up. Great. Let's be in front of the camel so we can see it. So there are two types of camels. One has one hump, and he's called a dromedary. Can you guys say that? 
Dromedary camel. Dromedary, that starts with a D. He has one hump that looks like a D. There's another type of camel and it has two humps on its back that looks like a B. What's that camel's name? A back train. Can you say back train? Back train. Back train, back train starts with a B. And the other camel has two humps. But this camel has how many humps? One. One. And we are going for a ride. Yeah, we're on the top of the camel. Look at that. So exciting. Oh, really like <laughs> Whoa. Look at that! <laughs> Are you feeling him sway from side to side? Whoa! Here we go! Do you remember his name? Dromedary. A dromedary, because he has one hump just like you are sitting on. Yeah. Yeah, and Lauren is first. Good. Okay, look, there's a tiger. Let's go see him. The tiger is the largest animal in the cat family. He's the largest cat. He's orange and has vertical stripes. Isn't he beautiful? Wow. He is big. What's that? Look, the lion's coming up at us. He must be a male. The male lions have hair around their faces, a big mane, and the female lions don't. Those must be males. Look, he's looking at us. Hi. Hi, lion. Wow, they're beautiful. Today was a terrific day at the zoo. What did you do today? I brushed a rhino. You brushed a rhino. And how about you, Zach? I fed a giraffe. You did, we fed a giraffe. And what about you, Lauren? I rode a camel. We rode a camel.